Lesson 196 in A Course in Miracles It can be but myself I crucify. When this is firmly understood and kept in full awareness, you will not attempt to harm yourself, nor make your body slave to vengeance. You will not attack yourself, and you will realize that to attack another is but to attack yourself. You will be free of the insane belief that to attack a brother saves yourself, and you will understand his safety is your own, and in his healing you are healed. Perhaps at first you will not understand how mercy, limitless and with all things held in its sure protection, can be found in the idea we practice for today. It may in fact appear to be a sign that punishment can never be escaped, because the ego, under what it sees as threat, is quick to cite the truth to save its lies. Yet must it fail to understand the truth it uses thus, but you can learn to see these foolish applications and deny the meaning they appear to have. Thus do you also teach your mind that you are not an ego, for the ways in which the ego would distort the truth will not deceive you longer. You will not believe you are a body to be crucified, and you will see within today's idea the light of resurrection. Looking past all thoughts of crucifixion and of death to thoughts of liberation, and of life. Today's idea is one step we take in leading us from bondage to the state of perfect freedom. Let us take this step today, that we may quickly go the way salvation shows us, taking every step in its appointed sequence, as the mind relinquishes its burdens one by one. It is not time we need for this, it is but willingness and what would seem to need a thousand years can easily be done in just one instant by the grace of God. The dreary, hopeless thought that you can make attacks on others and escape yourself has nailed you to the cross. Perhaps it seems to be salvation, yet it merely stands for the belief the fear of God is real. And what is that but hell? Who could believe his father is his deadly enemy, separated from him and waiting to destroy his life and blot him from the universe without the fear of hell upon his heart? Such is the form of madness you believe if you accept the fearful thought you can attack another and be free yourself. Until this form is changed, there is no hope. Until you see that this, at least, must be entirely impossible, how could there be escape? The fear of God is real to anyone who thinks this thought is true, and he will not perceive its foolishness or even see that it is there, so that it would be impossible to question it. To question it at all, its form must first be changed at least as much as will permit fear of retaliation to abate and the responsibility returned to some extent to you. From there you can at least consider if you want to go along this painful path. Until this shift has been accomplished, you cannot perceive that it is but your thoughts which bring you fear, and your deliverance depends on you. Our next steps will be easy if you take this one today. From there we go ahead quite rapidly. For once you understand it is impossible that you be hurt except by your own thoughts, the fear of God must disappear. You do not now believe that fear is caused without, and God, whom you had thought to banish, can be welcomed back within the holy mind he never left. Salvation song can certainly be heard in the idea we practice for today. If it can but be you, you crucify. You did not hurt the world, and need not fear its vengeance and pursuit. Nor need you hide in terror from the deadly fear of God projection hides behind. The thing you dread the most is your salvation. You are strong and it is strength you want, and you are free and glad of freedom. You have sought to be both weak and bound, 
because you feared your strength and freedom, yet salvation lies in them. There is an instant in which terror seems to grip your mind so wholly that escape appears quite hopeless. When you realize once and for all that it is you you fear, the mind perceives itself as split. And this has been concealed while you believe attack could be directed outwards and return from outside to within. It seemed to be an enemy outside you you had to fear, and thus a god outside yourself became your mortal enemy, the source of fear. Now for an instant is a murderer perceived within you, eager for your death, intent on plotting punishment for you until the time when it can kill at last. Yet in this instant is the time as well in which salvation comes, for fear of God has disappeared and you can call on him to save you from illusions in his love, calling him father and yourself his son. Pray that the instant may be soon, today. Step back from fear and make advance to love. There is no thought of God that does not go with you to help you reach that instant and to go beyond it quickly, surely and forever. When the fear of God is gone, there are no more obstacles which still remain between you and the holy peace of God. How kind and merciful is the idea we practice. Give it welcome, as you should, for it is your release. It is indeed, but your mind can try to crucify, yet your redemption too will come from you. Close your eyes upon the world. Imagine a real sword above your head, and that every time you are angry, upset, fearful, any emotion, any state that isn't love, and you push it into your head. And all you need do is make the choice. It can be but myself I crucify. It is insane to think that you can attack another and save yourself. You would let this belief go today. You would realize that your safety is his. And in your brother's healing, you are healed. It can be but myself I crucify. It can be but myself I crucify. I sent out the messengers. Unconsciously I've sent them out. I have not realized that I put the fear into my brother and let it be reflected back to me. And I have the power to end the loop by realizing what I am and what they are thus teaching myself that I am not an ego, you are not an ego. 
but the ego will always distort the truth and tell you it's them. They are making me angry and upset. But really it's a decision in my own mind. It can be but myself I crucify. I would no longer hold on to attack and think that anything external to myself can change what I am. We would step away from bondage today. Let us take this step, that we may go quickly the way salvation shows us, taking every step in its appointed sequence as the mind relinquishes its burdens. Each time you accept that you are the Holy Son of God and only yourself you can crucify, you can only hurt yourself by reacting, by thinking that something external can hurt you. How would you perceive life? How would you see your days if nothing could hurt you? Nothing external to you can cause you anything. Even this body, you are master because you are God's son. It can be, but myself I crucify. You do not need time to accept this. It is about willingness. And what would need to take a thousand years can easily be done in one instant by the grace of God. The dreary, hopeless thought that you can make attack on others and escape yourself has nailed you to the cross. The belief in being hurt by external forces is the belief of the fear of God. You believe that God could hurt you. You believe that eternal love could make something that could cause pain and suffering and loss. This is hell. This is the hell you made. And you would accept your salvation now, this instant. Why wait? You can accept it now. It is but myself I crucify. I would withdraw all my fear, my external attacks, thinking that something external to myself will make me better, improve me, improve who I am and what I am. I would bring it all back now and accept myself as I am. It can be, but myself I crucify.
you would let go of this mad belief that you can attack another and free yourself today. You do believe it. And until this form is changed, there is no hope. Until you see it is impossible to project your fear out and not keep it. You will not escape the fear of God. So each time you think about attacking or defending against anyone, remember, this is the fear of God. This is the fear of my reality. I think there is value here in this world that can give me something and I need to defend my little lot. Defend it to the death, but all I do is keep myself in hell and pain and suffering. I would release myself now. It can be but myself I crucify. until this shift that you cannot be hurt by anything but your thoughts has been accomplished you cannot perceive that it is but your thoughts which bring you fear and your deliverance depends on you accept this idea completely today and your next steps will be easy you will go ahead quite rapidly for once you understand it is impossible that you be hurt by anything except your own thoughts. Once you do this, the fear of God must disappear. And you will no longer believe that fear is caused by something outside of you. And you will realize that God with loving arms has welcomed you back into the truth. And you will again hear Salvation's song. Hear it now, as you remember, it can be but yourself you crucify. Just think any time you want to project outside of yourself, just remember the sword above your head. You can accept this today and be free. Would you take this chance? You need not wait another day. It can be but myself I crucify. There are no more obstacles which still remain between you and the holy peace of God. How kind and merciful is the idea when practiced. Give it welcome, as you should, for it is your relief.
you need not hide in terror from God. The fear of God that projection hides behind. You dread your salvation. You are strong and it is strength you want. And you are free and glad of freedom. You have sought to be both weak and bound because you feared your strength and freedom. Yet salvation lies in them. This is an instant in which terror seems to grip your mind so wholly that escape appears quite hopeless. And when you realize once and for all that it is you you fear, the mind perceives itself as split. And this has been concealed while you believe attack could be directed outwards and returned from outside to within. I would no longer make God my mortal enemy. I want to remember my strength, my life, my truth today. Let me remember, it is but myself I crucify. This instant of release comes now, today. God has called you son, perfect, with no illusion. And he's asking you today again, would you accept yourself as you are? Or continue to pretend that you are something that you are not? Remember throughout the day, each hour, your release from hell is given you. And give over each hour, give over every thought, every decision, everything. It can be but myself I crucify. 